yes, yes. How we feeling tonight? It's Detroit Love, Lola. I'm your host, Lola George, and you have entered into the Detroit Live Soul Cafe. And tonight, everybody say tonight. We are here to celebrate one of Detroit's finest, Mr. James Jamerson Jr., his birthday. We are here to celebrate his birthday. And tonight is just going to be a flat-out jam session. We have Blueprint in the house, the Blueprint Project in the house tonight. And so you're going to see a variation of bands and players on tonight. But let me just give you guys a snapshot of who you will be able to listen to tonight. We'll have Alan Barnes on saxophone, David Brandon on drums, who's back there now, James Jamison Jr. on the bass, rocking it all nice and sexy like. Robert Lowe on guitar, Carl Butch Small on percussions, and Mr. Earl Van Dyke Jr., also known as Big T, back here on the keys. So we're going we gonna to bring them up right now so we can kick it a little bit because we want to celebrate his birthday. It's a beautiful day anytime we get to celebrate people's lives while they're yet living. And it is an honor and a blessing that he decided he could have shared his birthday with anybody in the world, but he decided that he would share with us on this evening. So I definitely want to make sure I pay the respect that's due because we have a legend in the house tonight, and I want to respect the legends that are here on this stage. For those of you that are here for the first time, you may not know what Detroit Live is all about. Detroit Live, The Sound of Music, is an artist showcase that I do every Friday, and we'll see some more, we'll have some singers that will come in later on. But what I strive to do is to provide a platform for artists, which means singers, poets, musicians, and visual artists. I'm not looking for good, because there's good people everywhere. I'm not even looking for great, because there's great people everywhere. But it is the excellent ones that I'm looking for, because it's the excellent ones that will do this on a national level and actually do this for a living. So we set the bar kind of high here. I am the worst person that will ever touch this mic. I am the worst. If you don't sing better than me, don't even worry about it. Go down the street, go around the corner. If you don't play the drums better than me, don't even worry about it. Go around the corner because only the best of the best will grace this stage on tonight. So I want you guys to have a good time. We also have Mr. Garen in the house tonight with CTC Records. See, did I say it right? New CTU Records is in the building tonight. So I just want to make sure we get cornbread in the house from Impact Magazine on tonight. So I always want to make sure I show love for the people that are in the house. If you sing and you have a talent and you want to grace this stage, see me in the back or outside. All I just take two seconds. I just need to hear the first hot four bars or whatever it is you got, because it don't take a whole song to know if you got it or not. But if you got it, I got a stage for you. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Just sit back and enjoy the night. So I'm going to come, I'm going to bring to the stage the Blueprint Project. They're going to rock out a little bit. We're going to, like I said, we're going to go back and forth from the house band to the project, the Blue Project Band, Blueprint Project Band. So you all come on up, get situated so we can rock out. Everybody say happy birthday, James. Yes, yes, yes. James, do you mind if I interview you right quick? Oh, you can. So I just want everyone to know that this is being streamed live across the country as we speak. This is why we had the little intro music that came in. I know y'all was like, what's really going on? So it's being streamed live across the globe. And I always interview all artists that come up here. It's your birthday here. Let me give you this mic right here. Mr. James Jamerson, Jr. This mic. Oh, do I sound like Michael? Yes, you do this sound mic. like Michael. I, I, I should sound like Michael. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, 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 but if Michael was in the house, God bless his soul. I love him. Yes. That's why I did I'll Be There, uh, a tribute to Michael. 
I'll be there. My solo record is on iTunes and CD Baby. Okay. Now, for some of the people that don't know who you are and well, the great man of God that you are and the great man that you are, just give a small snapshot of some of the people that you've played with and played for because you hail out of Motown, but just give a little small snapshot just so, well, so they'll know. Well, first of all, I got to give uh, my mother's in the house. Your mother is in the house looking and so beautiful. My brother yes. And my sister Penny. Yes. But to, first of all, my father is the reason why I play bass uh, at nine years old. And uh, re uh, I play bass with, uh, yeah, naturally Michael Jackson and the Jacksons and Bruce Springsteen and Bob Dylan and Lucia Pavarotti. I used to be one of the Crusaders. Y'all remember Street Life? Uh, I mean, I say like this, most people say, just put it in a nutshell, rock to Bach. There it is, rock to Bach, there it is. And you've also, what we were talking earlier, tell them, what's the movie? Oh, the, the movie Standing in the Shadows of Motown, uh -huh. uh, and it basically is, it was the book first about my father, his life, and then it became a movie. I happen to, to, to be grateful enough to be in the movie, but oh. All those guys are my surrogate fathers, and uh, right now, most of them are gone. Uh, God bless their soul, and, uh, but they, they were the one that taught me what I know right now. So uh, I'm grateful to be, uh, grave, grateful to stand on stage with you. No, I'm grateful to stand on stage uh, with you. Know? I'm nobody, don't nobody know my name in here. They well, learned it today. They will now. Everybody know you. It, no, they don't. Yeah, they, they do, they, but they should. Well, they I'm should. just saying. And I'm gonna uh, make sure they do. Oh, so well, don't thank you worry you very, about that. Thank you very much. But no, no I, I, I've played with a lot of people from Cher to Paul Anka to, that's what I say, Rock the Bach. I did, did gospel from the B.B. Winans. Uh, yeah. Andre Crouch, yes. and then I did uh, God, just Hubert Laws. Uh, I can keep going on and on. Go. Lord, you know what? One thing, though, a lot of people don't know that I do movies like Lords of the Rings. Say that again. Cause Lords they, of the Rings. Lords white, of the Rings. White man can't jump. White man can't jump. But at the same token, I don't, I let all the people talk about me. Other than right, that, right, and right. my hit record, this is an interview. My, no, my hit record back in 78. A lot of people don't know I had a hit record back in 78 called, it was, my group was called Chanson, uh -huh. and the hit was called Don't Hold Back If It Feels Good, Do It. Mr. David Williams, uh, God bless his soul, he's gone right now. He was Michael's guitar player, and that's what we did in, uh, for two years. That's good, that's yeah. good. That's so good. I've been an artist and all, also a producer. I've been doing more producing and writing, and, and I'm writing a book right now. All right. All right. Now, typically when I do these interviews, that's right, give them applause. I ask a series of questions, and you've answered a lot of them. I always ask, what inspires you to do music? And you said your father inspired My father, you. I yes. mean, at nine years old, I got serious about it. Uh, my mother would say, take Junior to the studio with you. You know, take Junior. And, but I got, I got serious about it because all those guys, I didn't know I was uh, being a part of history just sitting in that room. That's right. But... It's like they were all just like, hey, I like what they was doing, but I like what my father was doing better. But That's I didn't right. know who my father was until later on. He was just dad. All right, all right. Okay. Now, another question that I often ask musicians and artists. As an artist, as a musician, what does music sound like to you? And sometimes people will show me in playing or they like to give a description of what music sounds like to them. So it, it's up to you how well, you want to explain that. Music right now, you, you always express yourself. If you don't, uh, my father taught me this, and I always write on a picture like, if you don't feel it, don't play it. And if you don't know the instrument, don't play it. That's right. You know, pick it up if you're really serious about it and, and learn your craft. You know, go through school, and, and there's always, there's always going to be a teacher that inspires you. My father just happened to be my teacher, but I didn't know exactly that he was a pioneer and he's the father of electric bass and all the Motown stuff. He's just dad. That's right, that's right. Well, I want to thank you for this time. It is your time to shine. It is your birthday. And yeah, it's my birthday, so, uh, you know, if I, if, I hit it, if, I hit it, if I hit it like that, I, I, I don't make right, uh, y'all forgive me. All right, everybody, show some love for the Blueprint Project.
How many of you guys like Marvin Gaye? Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do one of my father's favorite songs that he bragged about. And they call me around town, James, what's going on, Jameson Jr.?
Bye. 